Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Sounds Like Success, an Atlas IED podcast. I'm your host, Ben Thomas. Thank you so much for joining us. On today's episode of the show, we're beginning a Sounds Like Success mini series on the importance, the use cases, and the challenges around mass communication technology in a variety of industries. But why bring this up now? Well, with one of Atlas IED's partners, SingleWire, a VoIP application company for emergency communication and mass notifications, we've been working to develop cutting-edge solutions around safety in daily communications. Today, we're exploring mass communication technologies for industrial sectors and use cases. Hosting the conversation today is Brad Jungman, Southeast Territory Manager for SingleWire. And for insights, we're also joined by Michael McCormick, Senior Regional Sales Manager for Atlas IED. Thank you guys for joining us today. Take it away. Hey, thanks everyone for joining. Uh, my name is Brad Youngman. I work for a company called SingleWire. We make a product called Informacast, and we have a very strong business relationship for over 15 years with Atlas IED. Um, we're here with Michael McCormick, who is the regional sales manager for the Midwest and a couple other areas throughout the United States. So thank you for taking the time and joining us today, Michael. Thank you, Brad. And it's amazing to think we've actually known each other for about 15 years. So we were there at the beginning um, of when all this stuff happened. Um, today, we're going to be spending a little bit of time talking about Informacast and Atlas IED and our ability to do things in the industrial space. Um, you know, we've seen industry shifts and change over the years and, you know, client expectations are always very high in regards to, you know, solutions and emergency communications and mass communication. What are you seeing in the industry and kind of some of the trends that are happening right now in, in the industrial space? The industrial sp space is just like every other uh application that's out there today uh you know it, uh mass shootings aren't just uh stuck into one segment as k-12 or or hospitality or whatnot they're happening everywhere and uh communication's really the key uh to the people uh, in the industrial areas uh, like many other uh vertical markets that are out there need to be able to hear and understand messaging and and react when uh when something happens yeah what i'm seeing now too and what we've had a number of requests for especially with some of these large clients that we've worked together is these reminders of are you wearing your protective gear are you doing best practices the director in charge of their osha requirements and so forth and making sure that you know that board when you walk in the facility says no incident in so many days is extending on and on from that standpoint so you know between our two systems informacast has a really intuitive scheduler um, if you're the safety director at a corporate level across many facilities across the us and globe you, you could potentially manage the scheduled announcements from one location which is really eye-opening for a lot of organizations um, when you hear about types of messages and coverages that you have at facilities like this what are people doing or focusing on well, so hearing the messaging uh, uh, is key. You know, in industrial, we're working with all types of different environments. It could be hot, it could be cold, it could be noisy, it could be quiet. Um, and just to, uh, making sure that we're getting the appropriate audio uh, in the right places and where the ambience too high, kicking in with the visual side that uh, single wire can provide with our uh, products as well. Uh, are really key for those applications. Yeah, I mean, that important phase of, you know, facilities using the color coding and once again, changing the displays on those high quality LCD displays where they can go red, green, blue, purple, yellow, whatever you need that to be has been really substantial um, from a business perspective. Um, some of the other important things that we can offer for when people leave the facility is that combination of mobile notifications. So if someone was out to lunch, if they need to do a facility closing due to inclement weather, um, it all could be managed from one place. So we simplify a lot of those day-to-day -day tasks that someone's trying to manage um, in a more effective manner. And once again, at a corporate level across an entire corporation, but then also allowing the ability for a local site manager um, to do all those important things. Um, from a coverage you know standpoint tell me a little bit about like what atlas design services does because we actually were involved in a couple of projects um, with some large power facilities and actually the design team helped out significantly both of those can you tell kind of what that experience is and what people can expect from that 
Most definitely. Our design team is top notch, uh, probably the best in the, in the industry. Uh, when a customer comes to us, either end user or contractor, whoever it may be, uh, what we ask is that they submit us some plans and give us a scope of what they're looking at uh, to accomplish in the space. And based off of that information provided, we'll go ahead and design a system that's appropriate for it, i.e. laying out speakers, um, giving them a bill of materials of exactly what they would need uh, to accomplish uh, their their job. So if they have drawings for us, we'll be able to plot the speakers out in drawings to give them approximate placement, um, be able to tell them what kind of audio levels they'll hit in certain areas to make sure that they're overcoming the ambient. Uh, then in that full bill of materials so they know when they need to go out and, and procure the product, um, they have everything and they're not going to be missing uh, any part of that solution needed. That's awesome. You know, it's a great service. And, you know, once again, all the clients come back and they're super impressed with what we do. One of the other things that we offer on those Atlas IPX devices that interface well with Informicast is those GPIOs on the board. Um, we've been able to connect those to a lot of different systems, and namely things like an AED box, where if that's opened, automatically triggering a notification in that immediate area, also letting the safety security desk know. Um, connecting into things like emergency eyewash stations. So if someone pulls one of those, they obviously can't run to their phone or dial 911 because they may not be able to see um, triggering notifications from that standpoint. Um, can you think of any other systems that like the GPIO may connect to in the industrial space that may be beneficial for industrial clients? Yeah. Uh, so there's uh, been instances where we've included them to uh, maybe supplement instead of using uh, a strobe on our device, but add a stack on light uh, so they can have different color coding for alerts in certain areas based off machinery. Um, it could be a maintenance request into a zone. Um, it could be tied into some sort of uh, chemical sensor. Uh, uh, so if they have a spill such as ammonia, somewhere along those lines and uh, tie into other uh, uh, saw or other hardware products that may be out in the field, an access control system. Uh, it could also be uh, 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 tied into like a fire alarm system, uh, the trigger an event within the form of cast solution. That's awesome. I mean, it's just there's so many things to do and it's so eye opening for folks. I think one of the other things and for some of these, you know, clients, either small or large, um, tying into weather notifications, you know, we've seen some significant weather across the United States, we're getting into hopefully not a busy storm season, but the way things are starting, maybe. So automating things like weather notifications to keep, once again, employees informed of potentials of things like a tornado um, without human interaction. So all of those things that we can do from an automation standpoint, just make both of our solutions fit together so well. Um, I appreciate all the stuff that we've done over the last 15 years. Look forward to hopefully doing 15 or more um, after this, you know, as we evolve and, um, you know, as people have seen with the IPX, the, you know, rich content LCD displays. Um, and that's what the fourth generation of speakers or the that we've had so far or third generation of speakers, um, I think, from the evolution of everything. So they're only getting bigger, better. And really, they've become network-based devices. It's almost as intelligent as a, as a computer with all the peripherals and capabilities with those systems. So we've just been so happy with everything we've done over all this time and look forward to many, many more years. So thank you, Mike, for taking the time today. As do we. Thank you, Brad. Thanks. Thank you both for joining us today on Sounds Like Success presented by Atlas IED. If you haven't subscribed already on Spotify, Apple, or Google, do so to get the latest episodes. Thanks so much for joining us today, and we look forward to hearing from you next time. Mm -hmm.